Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Coming back to you with another uh, SATA chain crypto informative video. So yeah, I wanted to, uh, you know, I keep getting these questions, right? About, uh, you know, hey, I still got V1. Hey, I still got V2. It's worthless, it's at zero now. Uh, what is going on? You know, uh, and I get quite a few people saying, I don't know if it's bots that are saying that, or as actual individuals that are asking these questions, all right? But the thing is, I just wanna say this right now, okay? Um, we have been went through the transition. I see people still talking about V1, all right? That shows like how uninterested individuals have been in the crypto space. Like if you're talking about V1, okay, and say Tama at the time, uh, uh, which is now Seda Chain has supposed to been your investment. That shows how careless and reckless that you have been for you individuals asking the questions. That has shown how reckless and careless you have been, okay, when it comes to doing research, okay, and paying attention to your portfolio, all right? It's that, that's like carelessness and recklessness. And then uh, a lot of you individuals who are saying this stuff, you come on here and you try to blame a developer or you try to uh, blame everybody but yourself for something that you are irresponsible for. Okay, you have to be more responsible than that. There is no way in the hell that I'm going to have crypto investments, even stock investments or anything in any kind of portfolio, and I'm just not paying attention to it. All right? There is no way that I'm going to be doing that. And you have a lot of individuals... That, look, there is no one who should be asking, uh, you know, what happened to my V1. I mean, I can see V2 to a certain extent, all right, to a certain extent with V2. But V1, come on. I mean, how pathetic is that? Pay attention to your investments. How are you going to know what your wealth is looking like? How are you going to know how your um, how are you going to know how your uh, projects that you are investing in is performing? Okay, if you're not paying attention. Now, I'm not saying look at it every single day, okay? Don't do that because you'll you'll wreck your nerves. But I'm talking about individuals who, who seem like they have just lost all confidence in crypto uh, or whatever project they're in. They've just lost all confidence, period, or they just do not care. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the thing is, if you now... Uh, in a situation where you have V1, you're just waking up from your hibernation like a goddamn bear or something, and you're talking about V1, you deserve what you have. You deserve to be in the situation that you're in. Why? Because you put yourself there. All right? I literally got, I mean, I literally got uh, about five, probably five inboxes on Twitter, and I got a whole bunch of comments in the YouTube comments about, Hey, you know, what's going on with my V1? What's going on with my, with my V2? That's just pathetic. I'm sorry to say. All right. And if you're in a situation where you're stuck and you cannot transition over, okay, to uh, the more updated project that is uh, SATA chain, then you deserve to be where you're at because you have not checked in on your portfolio and you just do not care. If you do not care about your portfolio, why should your wealth or why should anybody else that you ask for help care about your situation? I don't want to sound cruel or anything like that, but, uh, you know, that's reality. That is just pure reality. Why should anybody care if you don't care? Why should anyone help you if you don't even want to help yourself? You want to hibernate, you want to hibernate and be under whatever rock you've been under for the last year and a half or whatever you've been doing. And then you want to wake up, like I said, like a like a goddamn bear or something, and then come ask, ask what's wrong with your V2. The thing is this. We were at V1. We transitioned over to V2. All right? When we transfer, when we transitioned over to V2, uh, Russ was still on the team back then. Uh, there were a lot of announcements made that there were going to be a do-it-yourself uh, migration tool that was available to all of the investors, all right? It was available, all right? And you had individuals with small as amount, right? That was, uh, that could transition their self over or migrate themselves over, 
Um, you even had individuals paying uh, more than what they had just to migrate over, all right? Just to have their, uh, because it's an asset. At the end of the day, it's an asset. It does not matter that you have to pay more to migrate over than what you have in your wallet. At the end of the day, the prices that you see for a lot of those cryptos are not going to be those prices 10 to 20 years from now. All right. It may cost you, uh, it may cost you a hundred dollars. It may cost you $200 to migrate over that hundred dollars worth of, uh, crypto. And you might say, nah, it's not worth it, but shit, you don't know what that hundred dollars, that hundred dollars could be, uh, five, 10 years from now could turn into maybe five to $10,000. And you don't get that wealth all because five or 10 years ago, you were too much of a cheap ass to spend $200 just to migrate over a hundred dollars that will bring you, that will have brought you some kind of wealth uh, down the line. That's the issue with a lot of you individuals that complain. You think too much into the now, you put too much stock into the now and you act like there's no such thing as the future. Okay, you act like five to 10 years from now is not going to come past. Whether you are here or not uh, in between that time, that time is going to roll past. All right. And what you do uh, right now will determine your wealth. Okay, your generational wealth and financial freedom, uh, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 damn years from now. Why do individuals pay so much attention to the now? Do you know the now will be history tomorrow. All right. I'm talking to y'all today on, you know, this video, but tomorrow, even when I shut this video off and push in record, it's history already. You understand that this video is not now forever. Okay. And that's, y'all have to have an open mind for the individuals that are complaining. You have to have an open mind. You have to know that there's a such thing as the future. One day you're going to look up and 20 damn years that will have passed. And what are you going to be doing? Are you still going to be clocking in at a nine to five or you're going to be sitting on some wealth all because you had a level uh, headed mindset, uh, uh, you know, today, what are you going to be doing? So, you know, that, is, that is just like really pathetic. Like I said, I don't know if it's bots. I would rather it be bots than be actual individuals within the community that don't know a goddamn thing is not educating, not doing anything. All right. And it's not just say the chain that goes with any, uh, that goes with any project that you're in. If you have a portfolio with multiple cryptos in it, or if you have a stock portfolio with multiple stocks in it, pay attention to your goddamn stuff. Okay. Pay attention to it. Check it. Stop being a goddamn lazy ass. Pay attention to your own stuff and stop sending dumbass uh, 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 responses, comments, dumbass inboxes, asking what happened to my V1, okay? <laughs> Y'all shouldn't even be on V1. We transitioned to a whole new, we've transitioned, we damn near transitioned out of V2. We have, okay? Y'all, so I wanted to make this video, it's a little rant video because I just got uneducated ass people sending me all of these inboxes, okay, and, and you know, sending and making stupid comments in the comment section. And I know the reason why a lot of people ask me. A lot of the people ask me all the time. I'm the main one to get all of these inboxes and all of the comments because I'm mainly the only one making Saitama content. I've never backed off of the Saitama content, okay? I've been going strong with the Saitama content for... uh damn near almost three years now, ever since the beginning. I would, my, that's around the time. If you look at my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel came out about probably a week after Saitama uh, was passed down to Russ and them. All right. My channel is just about as uh, the same age as Saitama. Okay. A week younger, five days, oh, five days younger. All right, so I've been going strong with my, my, my content. I have not backed off of the content, although I'm not getting a lot of the views and a lot of the, you know, all of that stuff. But like I said, my channel will grow within time. I don't care about all of that stuff. All right. I do not care about all of that. Okay. My channel will grow within time. 
But um, I'm going to always do the same time of content. I'm going to always continue to uh, educate individuals. But at the same time, people have to educate themselves. Stop doing yourself a disservice. Stop doing yourself a disservice by not educating yourself and hibernating and wasting time. Okay, because number one, if you hadn't a waste time, you would have known that, uh, you know, we've been migrated over like twice. Okay, we've been migrated over like twice. And then we're on a whole new professional project right now. We're on a whole new professional project right now. You're still stuck on the project with the wolf on it, the cartoon wolf. Come on now. What happened to my V1? That's just like, that's pathetic. Seriously pathetic. 